Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On Call Compliance Solutions, and I'm back with another compliance tip of the week. Today we're talking about NIST 800-171 Control 3.13.10, Establish and Manage Cryptographic Keys for Cryptography Employed in Organizational Systems. And that's a mouthful. A cryptographically blush mouthful stuff, whatever that means. Uh, you know what? Before I explain what it means, it's probably easier if I just tell you the answer, and then we'll figure out what it means together. So, uh, right, because cryptography is like easy to figure out, sure. Uh, if I was giving an answer, I would say, hey, this is implemented. Cryptographic keys have been created and are managed by the IT department. Yeah, just let the IT guys do it. Don't even worry about it, right? It's a great answer. Uh, <laughs> and reality. Uh, wherever cryptography is employed in organizational systems, it's the IT guy's problem, not yours. If you're an IT guy, sorry, me too. Cryptographic keys may be stored securely or tied to Active Directory objects. Aha, there's a hint. Where applicable, examples include BitLocker encryption keys, and yes, you can tie those to people's user profiles in Active Directory. So again, when we're talking about establishing and managing them, Right? We can establish them with BitLocker. We can manage them with Active Directory. Right? Kind of getting a little pattern here. And then, uh, again, those are going to be some of the examples uh, in organizational systems. Other examples might include the backup keys for encrypted backups. But, again, the real point is that you have some methodology or policy in your organization for how you're dealing with all the cryptographic keys you're going to create so that if somebody loses one, they know how to go get it back from IT. So very, very important uh, because a lot of people don't think about it. They just kind of like do the BitLocker thing and they're like, man, I'm not going to worry about this. And then, you know, their computer crashes and they realize, wait, but the hard drive's good, but I can't get at the data because the TPM chip died. And, and, then, and then it's very sad. It's very, very sad. So, hey, if you don't want to be sad and you're trying to get compliant with DFARS, NIST, SP-800-171, or CMMC on your own, and you're looking for some help, our compliance experts are always on call for you and they keep you happy, not sad. Visit NIST800171Compliance.com or check out the bio below for links to make life easy. There you can find more information about how we can help and make you happy. Self-schedule time of your convenience with our, one of our compliance experts through any form on the website or learn more about our completely done for you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days. Not sad like doing it yourself in six to 18 months. Love the content we're putting out for you. Help us out with a big thumbs up on the like button or even better, smash the subscribe button and make us happy to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. It's a great way to stay prepared for that upcoming CMMC certification. Everybody's going to go through it eventually. And until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure and happy out there. Hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. And I'll see you on the next one.